My name is Tujin Rai and I am currently studying Botany at fourth year in Central Campus of Technology, Hatishar Dharan. And tell me, what is your position now with NCSC? I'm a research intern. And what work NCSC. do you do with NCSC? I work uh, mainly in the conservation activities as well as awareness campaigns. And what is your favorite part of working with NCSC? <laughs> it's a placing camera traps with community forest users. And after that, we, and we collect we collect all the footage and watch with them. And it gives me pleasure. Why does it give you pleasure? Because uh, I can see the enthusiast um, community members to get them know about what will we find in my jungle. They are be like, whoa! <laughs> Their expression after seeing the video that makes me feel pleasure. So in general, you think people like the camera trapping and learning? Yeah, they, uh, they, sometimes some of them feel lazy to go on the core jungle area to place the camera. But after placing the camera, they would be excited to see the results. So placing can be boring, but gathering the data and showing them the video can be very helpful and happy moment. So what do you think will happen in the future in, for example, in Udaipur now that you've finished the camera trapping? What yeah, do you hope will happen? Now we can uh, mark out the core area where the most of the species live. So to minimize the conflict, uh, especially with sloth bear, we can minimize the conflict by identifying its core area. Now we know the main core area where can the sloth bear can uh, move, and move and uh, live there. So we can minimize the conflict. And do you hope to continue working in conservation? Yeah, I'll be working for conservation. What is your hope for your own career in the future? Mm, I want to conserve not only the uh, fauna, I want to conserve some of the endangered flora to in Nepal. And do you think working with the communities is important in your future? Will you continue? Yeah, because uh, uh, the community can understand jungle, their forest, like more than anyone who who is very <laughs> scientifically active or scientifically, you know, of people. They also don't have that kind of knowledge that community first member have. They so, know it's in every corner. They know when, where to go. They know, they also know when the, the flower is going to bloom, when that flower is going to If you show them a picture of a flower, they will directly take us to the that place where that can be bloom. So, so it's, it's a very good partnership. Yeah, it will be a very good partnership in conservation. Anything else you want to tell me about the work? Mm, yeah, I think not only the researcher and not only the students, but we should all collab together by sharing each other's information for the conservation so it will be more impactful in future. Hello everyone, my name is Nisar Kumar. I'm currently studying in Central Campus of Technology, fourth year geology. And I am born and raised in Dharan city. And you are a volunteer for our yeah. partner, NCSC. Yeah, I'm research intern in Nature Conservation and Study Center. And currently also volunteer for community conservation for camera trapping events. And do you like doing this work? Yeah, I actually love it very much. Why? Uh, it's about empowering the communities actually. Since I've been born and raised in such type of communities, so I know their perceptions very well and I love to change their perceptions about the wildlife and habitat. And so how do you change their perceptions? What happens? Yeah, usually many that communities, they are not what, knowledgeable about the wild wildlife in their areas. So like, for example, civets, they are nocturnal animal. So they only come out during nighttime. So our community have less knowledge about them. So by teaching them camera trapping, we try to capacity build their skills so that they themselves can be self-sufficient to know about what wildlife they have in their own respective community forest. And do you find they are very interested in learning about the wildlife? Yeah, actually they are very much forward in learning. They ask very much questions like how we can do, how we can uh, preserve some animals and they are very curious about that. And so in, uh, in uh, Udayapur, what do you hope will happen in the future based on this work? I think before the, our program, 
they were not very knowledgeable about the different types of animals. We found, I guess, 18 different species of mammals in Udaipur region. And they were very excited because they couldn't even differentiate some of the common species because they are nocturnal or they are rarely seen. So I guess it can even help managing wildlife conflicts too because some places we even found like cheetahs and sloth bears. So I guess they are trying to avoid those reasons. So for foddering and, and such types of activities. And what do you hope for your future? Will you continue to work in conservation? Yeah, I, I love this work and I of course will continue to work as a volunteer for community conservation. But how about your professional career when you finish studying? Yeah, I guess I will. I want to be academician too, but I, I want to be conservationist too. So I guess I will make it like parallel. So even as an academic, do you think you can continue to work with communities? Yeah, as an academician, I guess I can continue in conservation activities. Hello everyone, my name is Siras Timbu. I am from Tablezung. Uh, now I'm pursuing my bachelor labor in Central Campus of Technology in Thoran. What is your position with NCSC? Uh, nowadays I'm working in NCSC as the intern. intern. Uh, I'm working only in only one one project in NCSC. Then I'm also working in future with the NCSC again in next and further uh, projects. What project are you working on now with them? Uh, nowadays I'm working in a community-based uh, project. Uh, our work is uh, going to the community, then uh, teach them, uh, lo teaching them about the camera trapping and what is the beneficials of wild animals in the uh, in community and com community and how can we conserve them? How can we get the benefits from the wild animals? That's much. Do you find the communities are interested, excited? Yeah, uh, almost all communities are excited, but there is only a few community, a few community for few community forests. They are not interested in this field, but almost all community are interested in the in this in this field. What are they most interested in? Do you find? Uh, almost uh, they interested in the large mammals like that, but they neglect about the small you know, small mammals like the uh, wild rabbit like that. But they only interested about the elephant, tigers, leopard, etc. etc. So after you camera trap, do they become more interested in smaller mammals? Yeah, I think there is more impact I have seen. Okay. And what do you hope for your own your own future professionally for your career? Will you work in conservation? Maybe I'm working in the conservation because I I feel that all wild wild animals are most necessary in our ecosystems, and they must be conserved because if we, we can't we can't conserve them, they may be extinct. And do you think in the future, if you do conservation work, you'll continue to work with communities? Yeah, um, because community is the baseline of for the wildlife conservation. So if they educated and if they are skilled, then conservation is more effective, I think.